So first we're talking about uh, funnels and like in marketing, um, gosh, I, I mean, let's be honest, we all use funnels and we all try to think about sequences that will get results uh, and get people to raise their awareness to what we do and eventually make a buying decision. Uh, but I, uh, I've been looking into micro niche businesses and as a b- business coach myself, I started to notice how uh, the funnel is a construct as a business metaphor that helps you make decisions is actually a pretty crappy uh, um, metaphor. And, and it just uh, makes you uh, think that some things are going to work by itself. And, <laughs> and, and you think gravity why... is going to do the work. You think you put it in the top of the funnel. It's just going to flow through. Yeah. yeah, it's actually one of the three reasons why I think that funnels are evil. Like they give you a, a bad sense of what you should do in your business and it leads you towards uh stuff that won't really work for you and and so uh i i've i've started to work with the with a with a model like a different story for business for decision making that i call the reverse funnel i sometimes call it uh, uh, a pyramid with a free par- party which like if you think <laughs> about the pyramid It can give you this idea of a scheme or, 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 or like some multi-level, but I'm not talking about anything right. like that. <laughs> so you don't want to use the word pyramid because that, that has these negative connotations to it. <laughs> I know, no, but, but, but in the metaphor, it works, you know? So I would be happy to explain more, but basically uh, funnels are bad for you if what you're focusing on is making decisions in your business and thinking big and strategy level.